Check out this poly gel set I completed with dual forms. I'm obsessed. Coach had a soap bomb, she the bump Hairstyle, lifestyle, vlogs on the way. What's up, friends? My nails are already prepped, filed, buffed, shaped, cuticles cleaned, and I'm just gonna apply a base coat. Thanks, we are. I'm really looking forward to using this glitter I got from Wish.com a while ago. Using my Will Be Fine Poly Gel, I'm just going to try to mix them together like I've seen my YouTube professor do. And this is the color inspiration. And inspiration for the jewels from the same creator. Mixing this poly gel was so satisfying. It actually reminded me of when I used to paint with acrylic paints. I think I might get back to that. But anyway, just pushing this poly gel around, tap, tap, and slide. It's so easy. I'm trying to leave a two line space at the top of each nail so they are uniformed. The hard part is trying to get the finger under the lamp in time before air bubbles are created. The dual forms actually take a little bit of work to get off. This clip is in real time, but with a little patience, it pops right off. On to the next one, on to the next one. I'm using 70% alcohol for the slip solution and just gonna keep on patting and putting the poly gel where I want it to be. The nail immediately pops up and keeps lifting. This is beyond what I would normally have to use a clip for. And that was my indication that this one and the next nail was entirely too small. Not only that, do you see there's no apex? While I'm taking a break from my mess ups on my index and middle finger, I'm just trying to fill in the air bevels on the thumb. I'm gonna switch from the paper to this plate here in hopes that it'll be easier to scrape the poly gel off. We are not wasting any of this expensive product around here, okay? A great tip I learned is to dip the spatula in alcohol or whatever slip solution you're using. Less likely it will stick to your tool the way it's happening with me. This one didn't pop up, so it is the right size, but gotta have those tools handy, man. Had I had a clip closer, wouldn't be going through these issues. But also, is it just me or do these clips not wanna work sometimes? Back to just holding the nail under the lamp. I often forget, but it's always a good habit to smooth out the bottom of the nail. If you like taking this journey together, learning how to do our nails, or if you just like watching me fumble, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's free and it helps me a lot. I left two lines open and this one only has one open. So I've got a little bit extra here. Try to take off. Uh, more bubbles, but it'll get better with practice and possibly adding a little bit more potty gel to the form. Another thing I have to work on is building the apex on the poly gels. It's just not thick enough and that is what caused these nails to break within a week. The middle finger actually broke the same day. <laughs> 
I'm just pointing out the imperfections that I want to fix and add more poly gel to these areas and hope for the best. But I know already it didn't last. So I'm just going to, you know, let you know what happened. Although the nails don't last long, it really, really helping me with my practice. Because little by little, we get better. And if we don't start, how can we get to the ending of that professional looking nail that we want? How do we get there if we don't have a starting place? Come on, start with me. I'm trying to file all of the extra poly gel that seeped over. That is why it's good to clean it up as you go. You never want to cure with poly gel on your skin because you'll have situations like this. A little over fouling and I have a straight top when it should be curved, but that's all right. I have filed and shaped. Now we're gonna buff. And this is where the e-file would come in to clean up the cuticles, but I do not have one at the moment. I lost the charger. Poly gel so soft that it's easy to file. Thank God. The pandemic is the reason why I started to learn how to do my own nails. Because once I got out and saw those price increases, never. Anyway, wiping off all the dust with some alcohol before applying the top coat and ooh, look at that shine. Comment below any new hobbies you picked up during the pandemic. It's so fun learning what new things people were able to accomplish once they put their mind and time to it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.